of the corresponding fourth one that gives me this pipe on, pipe on plus two. Okay. So there are the three functions of the experimental coordinates. There's a work factor here, um, and then there's the potential of the fourth one. Um, here. Um, so this is the same lambda that was proposed by getting tested and presented, and you're going to see that the lambda is sufficient to solve this program to maintain the equation. Um, and I will show you, because it's a bit involved. Uh, there's a program to equate both for the network and also for the, for the flux fluid. Um, you can solve it simultaneously, if and only if, this free form satisfies that condition, um, so it's an imaginary self rule. Um, so the six dimensional hot spark operates acting on the first time to the form, so the fact that I. Um, and then also you have the, the constraints that the work factor is, is equal um, to this form potential. Okay. So the, 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 these two conditions here are required by the supergravity equation of motion. Um, so then I can use the other exercise. I gave you the brain action earlier. If you evaluate the brain action in this background, you can show that the brain has a potential which is precisely equal to the difference between these two, two schemes of functions. So in a classification that satisfies these conditions, um, the potential for three brain will in fact vanish. That would be a feature that would be important for us later. So in this ISD type of classification, uh, the three brain doesn't feel any force. Okay? That's just a famous effect. Um, higher dimensional brain will feel all kinds of forces from, from these forces. In these backgrounds. Um, and that's why one, that's one of the reasons for why you're becoming this we then later study a patient driven by a free brain and not by some other dimensional um, object. It's just because of this graphic order, it doesn't feel any potential from the process. Okay. Um, so the next thing we can see is that if we turn on a finite free flux from um, so, so ISD, it creates the potential for both the complex structure on the right and the dilemma. Okay. And so, one way of seeing this is, of course, the view is that it might create the potential for the dilemma because the dilemma you know, appears in this. In this um, three form flux. So if I turn on an energy density in the three form flux, it will lead after the measure reduction to a potential for this field. Um, tau. Um, and then the uh, complex structure in fact is hidden inside of the, the house star that, that's implicit in the definition of the dynamic interaction. So if you do this dimensional reduction carefully, you will find potentials for both tau and all of the complex structure moduli of the, the complex space. And so they re receive graphical potentials that will stabilize them like relatively high matrices. Okay? So these fields are the first ones that are stabilized and therefore 